Hey guys, today I wanted to talk about rotation. Rotation is going to happen incredibly soon, within a few months. So once we get the new set, Ixlon, which is September 29th, we will rotate out not just one, but two blocks. And that has a lot of financial impact. So we will rotate out both Over the Gatewatch, Battle for Zendikar, Eldritch Moon, and Shadows over Innistrad. So two blocks will rotate out, four sets in total. What is rotation? Uh, in case you this is your first rotation, rotation means you lose all your money. So cards in those set, with a few exceptions, right, will tank so hard, even harder than they are now. Now, we've already seen that with Gideon Ally of Zendikar, which is a very good card to measure. The one card I would say that may do better after rotation, after maybe a year after once rotation's over, is Liliana of the Last Hope. She has a lot of synergy with the Death Shadow decks. Should De Death Shadow still be the tier 1 deck, many of the decks prefer that version of Liliana over even the Veil version, which is, as you know, quite expensive. So rotation happens, and we lose two blocks, which is okay, but the meta will drastically shift. We're losing four sets, and out of those sets, we lose four different types of mana bases. Now, you could argue, oh, for the Gatewatch, wastes are not really a mana base, but should you play Adrazi, then maybe they are a mana base for you. We have the Battlelands, which is kind of underwhelming. We have the Shadowlands, we have the Manlands, which are pretty good. I think the Manlands might have some modern playability. It really depends on what meta and how the meta shifts after. I am just here to warn you that if you have any hope of selling your cards, minus Liliana of the Last Hope, which she will plummet in price, but... I feel like she eventually will recover and should there be no more reprints of her in a given amount of time, actually be more valuable. I like her a lot, um, just not at the current price point. So there will be an opportunity, opportunity to pick her up at a lower price point than today. So uh, Battle, Oath, Shadows, and Eldritch Moon. They rotate out September 29th, 2017. The ban list will have A for Work Marvel, and it, they, it will have Smuggler's Copter, as well as Guardian. So because of rotation, those cards no longer need to, or I mean the Maids and em Emiko no longer need to be banned. So quite interesting what's happening. There should be a large meta shift. Uh, we are losing half our sets. We'll just be left with Kaladas, uh, Aether Revolt, Amaket, Hour of Devastation, and Eichsland. So we will go down from 8, which we currently are at 8, or we will be at 8 very soon, to 5. And that means we lose, I don't know, that's almost 50%, let's call it like 40%, something, something massive of the card pool that you could possibly play in standard, we lose a massive amount of cards. And this will create opportunities. Uh, there are cards today that are not played that will be played at rotation. And I think it's a great... So let me take a brief moment to talk about MTG Finance in general. It is far harder to make money now than it was five years ago. And buying boxes, I no longer buy boxes to hold. I no longer buy boxes, fat packs to hold. Uh, I just play, we play with the inventory I already have accumulated, but I'm not buying any new inventory. I just saw one of Rudy Alpha Investments videos about the guy buying boxes who got, got absolutely hosed. There are two types of people, right? There's the people who sell the boxes for half off, and there's people who buy them for half off. 
unless you own a store, unless you have a popular YouTube channel, unless you have distribution networks, you are likely to go to be the one to be hosed if you buy boxes. You're not going to get the hosing. Um, obviously, if you buy boxes for half off distribution price or whatever it came out to be, you're going to make money, right? That's that's a win. You, you are going to win. But if you sell boxes for half off, you're going to lose money. Most people are going to be in the category that is going to sell boxes for half off. And very few percentage of the people are going to be in category who buys boxes for half off because you need a very strong network. So uh, my strategy moving forward uh, for these new sets and rotation to go back to rotation is only buy singles. Previously, I said, oh, okay, buy boxes, open boxes, draft for boxes. And do we actually have a ton, I have a ton of boxes and they tend to be older, better stuff like Shadowmore. I actually have a unopened box of Shadowmore, which is just spiking like crazy because it's on commons and commons. But um, my philosophy in the past has been buy two cases, open a case, sell these singles back, which is no longer viable. That's not going to make a dent on what you paid in it. You will lose money this way if you, the volatility is too much because the volatility depends on the masterpieces and out of a case you cannot, it's still very volatile what masterpieces you get out of a case. So the difference between, you know, having a good, a good case is the difference between a soul ring and a curio cloudstone, right? I mean, that's a hundred buck difference right there. Maybe more, maybe a hundred fifty dollar difference. Or the difference in Amiket between Force of Will and pretty much anything else. It makes a it very volatile on the box prices, and that's why I no longer buy boxes. So what I suggest doing from now on is buy, focus on one deck, buy these singles for that one deck, and that's it. Uh, wait and wait and wait. My strategy has completely changed. I used to love fat packs, as I said. I just love fat packs because it's so easy to play with friends who are semi magic players. They don't go to FNM. They would never be caught dead at an FNM, but they love playing magic, but they want to play at the kitchen table because you have beer, you have bad Chinese food. A lot of you ask why I like bad Chinese food. Like I order from a, literally a gas station. It's attached to a gas station. And the reason I do it is that's all developers do. Like when I worked at a large company as a developer, the manager who was this guy, he's relatively famous. I'm not going to say his name. He took me to the Chinese restaurant and he said, this food is amazing. And I was like, yeah, it is kind of amazing. That's a side note anyway. So... Rotation is happening. We're all going to lose value. <laughs> all the cards are already dropping, but you have not seen rotation. Rotation is the opportunity to pick a card in standard that didn't rotate out and then also pick up cards that just rotated out that you believe will be EDH playable. Now, notice I didn't say modern playable. EDH playable. Uh, I like Manlands. I love Manlands. I think that is good. Liliana of the Last Hope. Uh, it's interesting. It will be interesting to see where her price goes. I don't expect it to go too low. And and also, there's very interesting speculations in the um, the waste. Foil waste is unique. The Foil 4 Art Lands, it seems like they're going to do that very often from now on. And there's just so many copies of them like floating around. It's not appealing to me the land base is so super important for the survival of a set's value and uh, cons of Tarkir is a very good example fetch lands have made it okay and the battle for zendikar is another good example it didn't have enemy fetch lands where people where you could have put them in there and it had battle lands which is not okay and the set will plummet into oblivion Anyway, those are my takeaways. Buy singles. Try to liquidate now if you can. It's a little late, but you will get more money today than you will after rotation because there is still a massive hit. 
and then pick one or two cards that you just love, you personally love, and spend maybe like $25 in them and see what happens. Maybe you hit it. Maybe you hit that one card that wasn't very strong now, but then the meta shifts because we literally have four sets rotating out. And another deck, maybe something Axeline, although we have most of it. You know, what's interesting here, actually, I, I should make a note. Axeline, we know what's in the set already. We know the mechanics, we know uh, the pirates, we know the dinosaurs. There's not very much we don't know minus the planeswalkers. I just don't know if much research has been attributed to what's going to be good in the excellent set because people still are excited for our devastation, obviously. It's quite interesting. Anyway, that's it, guys. Bye.